the eruption will happen. Who said that in this video? Guys, more concerning news from very experienced scientists regarding Campi Flegri, the supervolcano near Naples. And what we have to say is, we are seeing higher pressure at the supervolcano and it is clear where that higher pressure is coming from. There's a lot of evidence that the gas, the increased, drastically increased gas flow is coming from a shallower magma chamber, magma source, than in the previous Brady seismic phases when the land was rising, the earthquakes were happening and everything was escalating. But what we're hearing today from a scientist is alarming again. Don't blame the messenger, guys. I see it sometimes in the comments. You're scaring me. You're alarming me. Are you fear mongering? I'm not, guys. I'm here to tell you the truth. I'm not here to tell you it's all going to be fine. Go there, eat your pizza and relax. This is scientific evidence I'm reporting about. The studies, you've probably seen my videos. All the studies from all the leading scientists that sit right on the volcano and surveil it every day. They're speaking out against their own institutions and they're warning the people. And I think it's important that this is made public. So let's hear what another very experienced guy has to say. I have reported about him previously. So it's interesting. Mario Tozzi, senior researcher, geologist of the CNR and popularizer, host of the Sapiens program on Italian television. He has now commented on the current phenomenon of the Brady Sizem after the high for a volcano, high magnitude 4.6 earthquake, the highest ever recorded since the last eruption when Monte Nuovo was created. And what he has to say, I don't really like it, guy. He basically says the eruption will happen. It will happen sooner or later. And he gives us an advice what the people should do. He's speaking about the risk of a possible eruption. And he says it will happen. I can't say that sentence often enough. He says that magnitude 4.6 earthquake does not change the scenario. It's not that there was any pressure released or anything that would make the situation less dire. He says, the area where it was recorded because it was a little bit in an unusual area, not at the Pozzuoli area where we have the Solfatara with the most land rise and the most fumaroles, gas emissions and earthquakes. He says that doesn't change anything that we had a location a little bit outside on the caldera rim within the caldera. The Campi Flegri calderas stretch within a an area of 100 kilometers, also in the water, in the sea. He says there is an area where the gas flow is more intense, but the earthquakes can occur anywhere. And he makes it clear, and there will be others. And he's not the only one who says that. He says, and they could be even stronger. And he says in a context, in a context of unpredictability, this is the only certainty that we have. He says the citizens of the Phlegrean fields that live on the supervolcano, they live on a pressure cooker and they should just leave. They should leave. This is what he says. He says, quote, there will be other earthquakes and when the magnitude reaches five, there's little to do. The buildings will collapse. And this is confirmed, I've said it in previous videos, guys, by structural engineers that have lived through larger earthquakes in the past in Naples and saw buildings collapse in Naples. So this is, scientists agree on that, also in the official version. He says, we cannot know when we will see the larger earthquake, but in my opinion, this reassuring attitude that is being promoted everywhere is useless 
and dangerous because people feel some kind of safety by being lulled into that. And he puts the finger in the wound and he says it as it is. And I like that, guys. And I like that about the Italians. I know many people in North America might think this is rude because we Europeans, we don't beat around the bush. We take the hammer and boom. If you ask us for our, our opinion, we will give it to you. We will not say, oh my God, it's great. It looks so good. We will say, it looks like shit. So this is what these guys are doing. And most of them do it outside their official institutions. So according to Totsi, the, the evacuation version should be considered. He's making that clear. He says, I believe in this area, nobody should live there. The residents should be encouraged to move away. The Phlegrean area, the Phlegrean fields translated, the burning fields, Campi Phlegri, should become a large natural park. Yeah, like Yellowstone. <laughs> Would you build subdivisions on Yellowstone right next to the Fumaroles? Because this is what's happening there at Campi Phlegri. You can see them from your balcony. They even have plans to build a hotel right there. And of course, the people who want to build this hotel, a lot of money is involved. They're not happy with guys making this public. So a natural park, yeah, that's a good idea. He says this should be a destination for nature, cultural tourism, home to events, parks, museums, and science, but not residential. Why do so many people live there? We have to make clear, and this is why we're talking about the residents so often. There is a risk any day of a phreatic explosion, phreatic eruption. That is very dangerous for the residents that live in the red zone. The early settlers that came to this area, very fertile area because of the volcanic soil but it didn't look like a volcano. Vesuvius was throning the area, still is, a stratovolcano, that is visible. But the other area, it's like collapsed calderas, nice hills. So the early settlers in the area southwest of Naples, they had no idea, absolutely not. And of course, many say this ignorance or this not knowing has led them to settle in the middle of Europe's largest and most dangerous active caldera. That was a decision, guys, with serious consequences. And that has especially become apparent in the recent years and especially in the last two years since we're seeing these larger earthquakes above magnitude four. So, but for 20 years, that Brady seism has been going on basically since 2005 repeated earthquake swarms, land rise. They have steadily increased in intensity, in numbers, and in strength. And then the quakes are accompanied by a phenomenon that is known as bradyseism. Refers to the uplift of the ground, sometimes the subsidence, but here it's been rising for decades. Since 2005, the ground has only known one direction, and that is up, constantly rising. And that stress that is put on the crust has caused these stronger earthquakes. The crust is breaking. I've shown you all the videos with the studies, how brittle the crust is, how much stability the caprock layer has lost. That's the lid on the pressure cooker and it's weak. It has very many weak spots for magma to come to the surface. That's alarming. So what he's saying, these earthquakes did not relieve any tension in the ground. And we just had the, another earthquake swarm. So after the 4.6 earthquake swarm, we had another 2.6 earthquake and it was accompanied 
by many other earthquakes, at least 21 earthquakes. So another earthquake swarm. Epicenter now in the well-known area around the Solfatara, northeast of the Solfatara, south of the Astoni crater. Campi Fligri is many, many craters. Epicenter depth was shallow, only 2,200 meters. So it's not quiet. It doesn't stop. It's basically, we see these earthquakes continuously. It's going from one swarm to the other. That's why the Caldera residents are becoming increasingly nervous. And the scientists are also growing more concerned. That's why it's so important to know what Totsi has to say. When he was asked, well, what about an eruption? What can you tell us about this? He says, well, the experts have set up a monitoring network that is almost unmatched in the world. It is. This is surveilled 24 seven. But the leading scientists of the INGV are saying we need more monitoring systems. We still do not fully understand that system. So it's, it could surprise us at any time. And the leading scientists are saying outside their position of the official version, monitoring doesn't guarantee your safety. We can monitor it and we can tell you, oopsie, it's erupting right now. But that doesn't guarantee you safety. So Totsi says, hopefully, if there are signs of a major explosive eruption, there hopefully we have time to intercept. But the problem is, the recent studies just found that when the Monte, Monte Nuovo crater was created, a phreatic eruption could happen at any time without warning. I have recently shown you a video, I've reported about the latest study that confirms that they have modeled, they have built a model of the last eruption that formed the Monte Nuovo crater. And what was so scary, it was behaving like it's behaving now and all of a sudden this massive phreatic eruption slash, slash explosion happened. And then, yeah, that is bad enough, but it's not a magmatic eruption. But this was basically like mining. The explosives of the phreatic eruption made a tunnel for the magma to come to the surface. And that's when the crater was formed. That's when we saw a magmatic eruption that followed. And I told you that a leading scientist of the INGV, Giuseppe Mastro Lorenzo, he's also giving interviews outside his official position. And he made it clear that the current situation differs from previous Brady seismics. Watch my video in the end screen with details about what he said. And he finds that very worrying that this is different. Previous uplift phases, they lasted like less than two years and then it was over. During this time, the ground rose significantly faster than it is the case now. But the earthquakes did not reach the magnitudes they are experiencing now. And the studies confirm that Brady seism is not normal at Campi Flegri. They only occur before and after an eruption. Well, we, what we know for sure, we're not after an eruption. So we're most likely before. Also very concerning is that the 4.6 magnitude earthquake on July 1st occurred on the edge of that uplift zone, not at the center. And the quake occurred at a depth of almost five kilometers, like three point something miles. It's also very unusual. It was a very unusual quake. So according to Mastro Lorenzo, what he said is, it proves that the gas pressure that is underneath the surface is stronger than in previous phases. And he said, extremely stronger, concerningly stronger. And there is a risk of even stronger earthquakes also on the caldera rim. The higher pressure could be further evidence that the gas is coming from magma shallow magma that has also been confirmed in studies. Way more shallow than in previous Brady seismic episodes. The other problem is that we have quite a few fault lines in this Campi Fligri area. And these fault lines, they're making the Caprock layer brittle. Magma is always looking for the way of least resistance. 
So volcanologists are saying, and there was a recent study where they have used geoelectrical measurement methods to examine these faults in the Pischiarelli area and the Solfatara area, where we see most of the epicenters of these earthquakes. And basically these fault lines, they're like tunnels, like elevators, mining tunnels, highways for the magma to come to the surface. And of course, what are these fumaroles? They're also like tunnels where the hot gas is coming out. They're relieving some of the gas pressure, but it's not enough. And there's evidence and, and there's scientific evidence that thousands of years ago, they had frequent phreatic eruptions in this very area, in this highly densely populated area. Do you not understand why Totsi says nobody should live there? And he's not the only one, as I said, from Mastro Lorenzo, Di Natale, Roberto Scandone, all the leading scientists say that. And we can still see traces of these phreatic eruptions today. We can see the evidence. Of course, these ascent routes over thousands of years and over time, through the shaking, through the earthquakes, they can be blocked. There could be like rock falls, you know, all the shaking, earth movements. And if something is clogged, the pressure is building up underneath. So this increases the risk of phreatic eruptions even further. If I don't relieve any pressure from my pressure cooker, if I don't open a valve, it'll explode if the heat keeps coming. And it is coming from the magma source. And years ago, the access to the Solfatara and Pischiarelli areas was closed, but it's a tourist attraction. Now they're filming these fumaroles, they're looking at it. I mean, the homes are built so close to it. And I have reported about this, that recently the gas emissions at Pischiarelli had decreased a little bit, which could have been an indication that something is blocked. So we have to be very, very careful. And you know, <laughs> There's warning after warning after warning after warning, but nothing's happening. Yeah, they're talking about reinforcing the buildings that they won't collapse, but this will take years. Of course, evacuating everyone is also tough, making them move somewhere else. This worked in Iceland with Grindavik with, with a few thousand people, but with 50, 80, 500,000 people in, in the red zone, however they define it, there's different definitions. That's a different story, guys. So I'll keep you updated, but check out in the end screen what's going on in Japan. I think we have a similar situation like in Santorini. This massive earthquake storm, we just had another 5.4. It's not tectonic. Can you believe that? There must be some magma intrusion. It's magmatic, it's volcanic. Are we seeing the birth of a new volcano or a magma intrusion? You should watch this, guys. If you want to support the channel, check the links in the description. You can buy me a coffee to keep me going. Leave me a message. I will answer with a video message so we can chat with each other. Thanks for your super skies. Click the join button to become a supporting member here for behind the scenes videos and private stuff. Thank you for your support, your comments, for being here. Stay safe, guys. I see you very soon. Bye-bye. I will 